So you're about to straight pipe your vehicle and you want to know the pros and cons. Maybe how much it's going to cost. Emissions. Why would you straight pipe your vehicle? Is it for the noise or is it for performance? In today's video, that's what we're going to talk about. My name is Bailey Durant. This is a YouTube channel that we post all types of car vlogs, whether it's DIY, entertainment, or maybe a little bit more factual, like today. This is my 2015 BMW M4 that we've only had not even for a full month. As of right now, we have it on full bags, GTS tail lights, and well, we have literally parts, wide bodies, headlights, performance, turbos, clutches, roll cage, racing seats being made, steering wheel being made. It, it, this, this is a big car build that we're about to tackle in the next six months. Hopefully that's all it takes. It didn't go as far as repainting the vehicle. This is scratched into the paint. Like it's, it, it's through the clear coat. We use some really rough sandpaper, but it looks really cool. Point is, this is a big build, so stay tuned. Now let's get to today's video. Mainly today we want to talk about straight pipe because I am straight piped in this vehicle. It's not a daily driver, even though if it was a daily driver, I'd probably still straight pipe it. First thing, why do you straight pipe your vehicle? Why do you straight pipe your vehicle? Sounds and pops. He likes the noise. Okay. So he likes to be extremely loud and obnoxious. He has a tune that makes it pop a lot. <laughs> sounds like gunshots. It's actually quite crazy. So that's the main reason why I do it is because I like to relieve the turbos. So you hear the turbos more and you have, I don't do a lot of pops like one pop, but I, okay, I'm a pop. I like pops, okay? Shit, I'm not as bad as Ruben though. Ruben likes the burble. He likes it loud and extremely obnoxious. Sounds like a rifle, AK-47 going off. It's crazy. Another reason why you might straight pipe your vehicle is not for the noise, because you are gonna be annoying and really pissing off certain people on the road. You need to be respectful with it. Like if you're next to traffic and cars, upshift. Don't be sitting there revving. Don't be obnoxious. Don't be that guy. The only people having fun with the loud exhaust with people inside the car. So be respectful. It is to me disrespectful when I hear other cars will be in like daily driver in a sense. Someone comes up and just full sin, does not care about anyone around them. It's not cool. It's just I'm not. What's the point of not full sin? You don't, you're just <laughs> pissing everybody off, dude. That's their fault. They're it's, not it's, having it's, fun. Fun. it's only fun for the driver. It's only fun when you got it. When somebody else doing it, it sucks. Yeah, 5 0 Mustangs, bro. Chill out, man. No, no. Yes. Oh, you know, I'm, a, I'm an old VQ boy. So, them 350Zs, Mr. Put it in neutral and just. Cock, cock. Those straight headers. I remember my, th my Z in the header. That is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> it, it really is. Another reason why you shape pipe your vehicles for performance. That's why it's really for track. So certain tracks, by the way, don't allow straight pipe exhaust because it's too loud. They have a decimal limit as well. Not all of them, some of them. But the reason why we straight pipe our vehicle is mostly for the noise. So 60% noise, the other is 40% turbos. So these are turboed vehicles. It's uh, if you have a supercharged or a procharged engine as well, anything but NA, you usually want to straight pipe your vehicle because you want to get rid of that restriction. The cats, the resonators, muffler, it all adds up to a lot of restriction. By removing an exhaust system, you're actually going to likely lose horsepower. But then when you tune it, you have the capability of gaining 20, 30 horsepower on average for a car. So remember what I just said. I said tuning. Exhaust costs a lot. A lot. <laughs> it does. That's our next subject. So this is the AWE straight pipe exhaust that we have, which this is not actually going on our car. It was a failed attempt, it's the wrong one. Bad news for me, we only got half the exhaust system in the mail, so I'm actually stealing the, my old system off Ruben's car. And Sorry I'm Ruben, it. back to stock boy. I'm gonna clean it for you. So to straight pipe a, a vehicle, typically to do it right, exhaust and tuning, because again, it kinda needs to be tuned, it could cost anywhere on average. It could be way more, it could be way less. I would say easily two or three grand. Yeah. I know for the S55 platform, the AW exhaust, it ran about now $2,300. But then you need down pipes. Down pipes, BRSF for the cheapest option right now, it's like 560, 570. And then tuning for this car is another 550 
from Boot Mod 3, and then you might need to also pay for a few additional tunes. So it's costly. Or you can go more affordable with a straight pipe exhaust and be that annoying Tahoe that's from 2003 and just take it to a muffler shop, pay $200, get them resonators, cats cut out, gutted, etc. It's not going to sound very good, it's going to run rich, etc. But you did a couple hundred dollars and guess what? You did it for no reason other than to be obnoxious in my opinion. Sorry, that's just me. I'm going to get underneath the F80, I'm going to start dropping this exhaust system and then I want to compare stock to straight pipe. Another reason why you would uh, not want to straight pipe your vehicle, especially, if, not especially, because if you're actually driving this thing on the street, most states in the US have emission testing and you can fail your emission testing, it's pretty much guaranteed with a straight pipe exhaust. You have to have cats. And I, I don't know what if they have testing for decimals in Oklahoma, we do not have testing. So that's something I don't have to worry about. So I'm not that experienced with it. But in Texas and a bunch of other states like California, I think even does Florida have emission testing? And the point is, is you're going to have to put your stock exhaust on every single year just to pass the emissions. And I've heard of like you going to straight pipe, then back to normal exhaust. It messes with the emissions somehow. Um, I guess, I, again, I, I don't know. But you need to be careful of that because if you're not gonna be in the position to put on your stock exhaust yearly for a test, that would be quite annoying. And typically the states that do the testing, it's highly illegal to have an exhaust system as such. That's why they do the testing. So I really wouldn't recommend it. Just do like a basic exhaust with cats still, but maybe high flow to cats with a muffler, with maybe a valve that you can turn on and off. So straight pipe exhaust is not for every state here. We're lucky. Um, in my case, because we're building a show car, I would probably still straight pipe the car. It'd be worth for me to put the stock on every single year for testing. We continue on. Oh, hey, chill. Okay, so there's the stock exhaust. You have the muffler section, you have a resonator section, you have the catalytic converters, and then on the downpipes, which go from the exhaust to the turbos, have another catalytic converters. So the weight savings is actually really incredible. This has, I'm going with the VRSF downpipe, so no cats. It has an X pipe right at the beginning, it has no resonator. And it has no muffler. That's what makes a straight pipe exhaust system. Now, let's talk about weight savings. Again, this is for track use. This whole system, just the muffler itself, weighs 29 pounds. That weighs 69 pounds. That's a struggle for me to move. This, I was able to balance it on one foot and basically get it out. Not, not a big deal. So and that is another huge pro for straight pipe. If you're trying to build a track car, that's a, that's a lot of weight savings. Like, it's huge. It is. I mean, I don't even have to lose weight now. Let's throw this sucker onto the M4 and then we'll hear an exhaust clip. It's extremely loud. It's it, it's unnecessary. Now, the reason why cold start is even a thing in cars nowadays is to warm up your Cadillac, your Cadillac converters. Since we're not using Cadillac converters anymore, I'll go ahead and delete cold start. So that will be the only time I ever hear that from this point forward, hopefully. Oh, 
I wasn't even recording. I miss my other exhaust, but I'm gonna have it. But this is looking kind of fun, though. That is it awesome. It sounds sneaky, don't it? Yes. So his has downpipes. So he has no cast and downpipes, but he has the stock exhaust system in tune. That sounds really crisp, really nice. We do not have this one tuned. Spicy. And well, that's about the exhaust. We've already done exhaust installs, so I didn't care for an install. I want to talk about why we shape pipe an exhaust. If you want to see how to install an exhaust on an F80 or F82, then go ahead and click down in the description because we've done a couple installs on this channel. One a long time ago, one more recently. Those are more DIY, talk about what to do. Now there's another video that will be posted, likely tomorrow or the next couple days, that's gonna involve both of these cars together. Keep in mind, I haven't paid for a tag on this car yet, and we have already all these mods. And it's just gonna keep going. July 5th, it goes down to Dallas to get some pure stage two turbos, SSS, SSP clutches, clutch basket, and it, it just, from there, it goes further. This is not going to be 700 wheel horsepower, probably the last one, but it's definitely gonna beefed up. As soon as it comes back, we might be cutting those fenders off. Remember the Shrock Eye video we did? We had the, one of the first kits, baby. It's going on this car. That is all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep living life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.